The core qualities of knowledge keepers, I think, are really around the values that are important to indigenous peoples and communities. The relationships uh, amongst each other, the relationships with the land, uh, those who have the language, the knowledge of the language and how it relates to uh, wellness, well-being. A knowledge keeper is having that knowledge about your history, um, for example myself, knowing about where I'm coming from, knowing my people, knowing my language, knowing my culture. You know, that's all very important for me, although a lot of that was taken away from me and, you know, when I went to residence school, but I picked it up and, you know, my grandma was very, very important in that at that time, because when I left residence school, I didn't leave it. It was only because the school closed down. And uh, when I came back, we continue, I continued learning from my grandma, who was total, like, traditional. She did speak Cree, and uh, she was my Cree grandma. Then I had a Métis grandma who spoke Métis, and she... Uh, taught us a little bit of a, taught me a little bit of Michif because I lived with her. She was Métis, uh, French, and uh, Cree. Once the knowledge is shared, it's, it's, it's important to me and I think to other knowledge keepers in our community that the knowledge be actually used in some good way. So I would ask in turn, what do you want to do with this knowledge? Let's uh, think about together what we would do with this knowledge. How can this knowledge that you've asked for and you've gained help our community? If somebody asks me that I'm going to go teaching in India or China, do you know what? I need to learn through the internet or through, through people. What do I need to do in order for, for the non-indigenous to come to the Denesukhline territory? What do I need to know about them? Study up on them. That's respecting them. You know, we have, I need to know the protocol of the Denesukhline. I need to know the uh, protocol for the Salish people that are here. And that it, it's just respect, you know, to know their history. And I, I, I you know, I don't know what else to say. To me, it's just being respectful to learn and to know What I hope to hear from the person who's coming with the ask is uh, that they want to do something of benefit to the community with the knowledge that they will gain. And it's important, I think, uh, for the researchers to realize that the best way forward is to work with the community uh, and decide collectively what to do with that knowledge. My dad left us many, many tapes. They're all in the archives in Victoria, but we got copies of his stories, his singing, not only for our family, but for our tr different tribes. And many of the people who didn't really know their story have used my dad's tapes to learn their history. We have been gifted with the knowledge to share. You carry that gift, so if when you're given a gift, share it. Share it by, again, listening, respect, honor, all those qualities, you know, that are for it to be a success.
I've been fortunate that aunties and uncles have taken me aside at ceremonies and they would explain parts of the ceremony that I may not understand or maybe I just didn't even know the question to ask. But they would understand that I didn't have the knowledge just by the way you conduct yourself at a ceremony. Our uh, elders are quick to point things out. If I got up and spoke and I said something I wasn't right, they would probably just stop me and say, no, that's not correct, my son. Let me talk to you. My elders have always been very gentle with me, but I did understand that they were strong about it. If it was no, then it definitely meant no. And they maybe explain to me and teach me. People making singing songs and selling the tapes. You know, they did that to my dad's uh, tapes in the museum, and, and I got a hold of them and said, <clears throat> could you ask me, ask my permission before you give it to anybody? Because I know that even though he was one of our relatives, but he was copying the songs and selling them, and we didn't want that. 